Hello friends and welcome to the Mindful Making video channel. Here you find videos and chats about making with our hands and making with yarn and knitting in particular. So fiber, yarns and knitting and uh, celebrating and enjoying that sense of grounding that knitting and making gives give us. My name is Jane and uh, if it's the first time here, welcome. I'm super excited that you found your way to my little corner of the internet. Returning viewers, welcome back. It's great to have you here again. And you know what you're in for, you know, it is what I have been knitting on what has inspired me since we last spoke and some plans for the future. Often towards the end I also talk a bit about life stuff so you are more than welcome to stay for that as well. Before I start I would like to acknowledge that I record this video on Derek Kuring Island and I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. I would also extend that respect and acknowledgement to any Torres Strait Islander or Aboriginal viewers who watches this video and also send the respects to elders of any lands that you are watching this video from. Today it is February the 9th, uh, well today it is 9th of February. 2024 it is Friday I've just finished work so I thought what an excellent um, opportunity or reason in um, celebrating the a new weekend and I could sit down and chat with you guys uh, this is epi episode number 58 as far as I recall so welcome I hope you have a coffee or tea or wine or something cold something hot i have here next to me a um, kombucha this has become my um, grocery shopping treat um, something a bit sweet and just um, maybe a pretend to um, you know a somewhat healthy treat I like them for sure so cheers sometimes I even open and drink this kombucha in the car and I often think what will people think when I'm sitting here with a bottle that looks like a beer cranking it open in the car but it is alcohol free yeah <laughs> yeah love it love it love it so that's my treat for this afternoon admin wise you can find me on instagram as mindful making my website is called mindfulmaking.com.au where you can find knitting patterns and the yarn shop where i sell um yarn mainly or currently only from Hotstown. Uh, so have a look around it is a bit bare on the shelves but uh, I have a new order coming in very soon and uh, that's all all in the description box below you will find a link to the show notes which are stored on my a web page and there you can find links to everything I talk about in this video and for all the other videos that I've recorded in the past 
uh, it has been a few years now um, I actually don't know when the birthday is but I could look that up it's not usually something I celebrate it's just a one video at a time and what I found amazing is that we've built this community in sort of around our shared passion for yarn and for knitting so um, so welcome and let's just dive in to what it is all about the knitting and uh, as per usual let's start with what I'm wearing and which is also a finished object uh, since the last episode this is cat number one and it's a design by Pia Tratz of Missnitz. Um, she has a podcast and Instagram account as well uh, of that name. So if you don't follow her, give her, check her out and, um, and see if that's something you would like to subscribe to. Um, this is a round yoke construction which have this lovely neckline detail with increases sitting here at the shoulders. I have worked mine in a sentness uh, scan and it's the Sunday. Here uh, it is a 100% uh, merino. I don't think it is super wash. It is not super wash. I have since the last episode I yeah, finished and you know a, I've woven in the ends and I gave it a wash and blocked it somewhat because it was a bit tight and I've gotten a bit more space around the bust. The sleeves are however still uh, they fit snugly around my very muscular <laughs> upper arms um, yeah uh, no more comments um, the color is uh, 1001 I knitted size 4 I think now I have to consult my little knitting journal to see where it is and then of course I was on a different page so I knitted size 4 on a 3.75 millimeter I used 195 195 grams and there is 50 gram in each bowl 916 meters of yarn I have my little um, number nerd um yeah i'm happy happy with the project and especially after the the washing and blocking and it i've just given it a bit more space otherwise it was probably a bit too tight for me and um, but now i love it i love it um and I really like this delicate detail up here with the texture and I absolutely am in love with, uh, with this neckline detail. Yeah, so I've worn it for work today over a skirt, a linen skirt. Um, lovely, highly recommend the Cat One by Pia Tratz. So that was what I'm wearing and the first finished object. Uh, I have a couple more finished objects for you to, to see. Last time we talked about the um, It Brings You Peace shawl, which is from um, a design by Rocky Locatelli, and I had some leftovers of the Sori alpaca. And I've knitted up two Sophie scarves and as you can see uh, the ends haven't been weaved in yet so this is the first one in the caramel color maybe I had that finished at the last video I think I might have so yeah that was one and after that was done I knitted one more 
made it a bit longer, so <laughs> there were some ends to, to tie together. And this is in the colorway antique. Yeah, bit too warm to wear uh, now, but I am sure when winter comes, it will be, they will be in high rotation and worn often. Yeah, very, very soft. Uh, yarn deliciously soft uh, probably just 20 grams in each of, of these scarves so they will just need a, uh, a needle and uh, and just me weaving in the ends and they will be completely done but two Sophie scarves for me and two additional finished objects was very very quick and they are a very quick knit and also I think a good project for for some leftovers if you have let's say a um, sock yarn and some silk mohair put that together silk mohair held double city kaka held double yeah, lots of options, lots of, of options. That was um, finished object number two. Moving on to number three. <laughs> um, I have knitted a little baby dress. It is the Bella dress. Whoop. A design by Lena Holmes Samsui you would have seen in some of the past episodes that I've knitted one before, which got lost in the mail, so I've knitted a new one. This is size 18 to 24 months. I have used a, um, that is the Coast Yarn Cotton Wool Blend. Um, the colorway is Cocoa. It is a grey, brown, purple. A very lovely colour. Uh, I've used the Coast Yarn Single Stranded uh, and knitted on a 3.25 and just a 2.5mm two, two in the neck and in sort of the, the, just the edgings. Yeah, and uh, the motif at the round yoke are these, is this lovely leaf pattern. And then just four small wooden buttons um, on the, whatever that is called, I don't know. Small wooden buttons that I had available already. Yeah, so this is ready to be wrapped and um, mailed again as a gift. I um, will need to consult my journal um, to remind myself of how much I have used for this little Bella dress 18. Um, oh, yes, so, well, it's good to have the notes, and I can. Um, no, it is correct, it is correct. I have used 72 grams of the coast yarn, which um, equals 504 meters of yarn. That is done, I knitted in a week's time, and when I got to the um, you know, it starts up here, knit it flat, and when I got to um, splitting for sleeves and at this opening, and when that is done, you can just knit round and round and round. So I did that while reading my book club book. Um, love that, and I will. Um, I I need to I need to finish the book for Tuesday, so. I think I need to find a suitable project this weekend that is just round and round and round. 
so that I can read at the same time. But here it is, a little Bella dress. Then I saw a post from Sue by Hooks and Sticks. Um, a post on Instagram where she was talking about a um, scrappy socks project that is and the cal that is hosted by and of course now I need to look it up again it is by everything dot shapes dot us on Instagram uh, she hosts a cal called ECPC Scrappy Socks Cal 2024, and I thought, well, I have I have a lot of leftovers from sock projects from Advent minis um, that I can put together and create a number of socks, and so I did. I found some leftovers in grey, green, blue colours and they have now turned into a pair of socks. Here they are oh, and of course I should be then the prof um, podcaster that had them on sock blockers. I haven't. Sorry. You can you can see what I mean. I think you get the gist of it. Uh, they the shape looks a bit odd. They <laughs> does look a bit long and uh, and um, tube like, but that is because of the three by one ribbing that I have used. Uh, and maybe I did make the the foot just a half a centimeter too long. Maybe I did. Yeah, but a nice um, flow of colors throughout and some lovely stripe effect with just small nockets of yarn. The main feature is this absolutely stunning multicolored um, leftover, or I think it actually it is not a leftover, it's a mini skein from Glenhaven Knits and on the screen it looks more um, muted in the colors than it actually is. There's much more lime green in in the skein and in, in the final that it doesn't show up on the screen. Some neon, it's actually neon yellow, neon green in here which you can't see. Not at all. But anyway, um, I knitted them two at a time, toe up, and two at a time means that they will get the same flow and the stripes will sit at the same spot on both socks. So I don't need to, you know, count the rows and be very mindful of that. And I get two matching or a matching pair, two matching socks. Uh, I used the directions from, I have to write it down here, it is a pair of socks that I've knitted before and it's from 52 weeks of socks but I just can't remember the name of that design so I'll put it here so you can see it and then I just use the the three by one ribbing at the instep and on the leg and then this this um, description or this design has the color change or the heel flap like a in, um, you know you increase the number of stitches and then you decrease again, you decrease again. For the heel flap, but it's not a heel flap. 
and gusset. It's uh, somewhat in between. But it gives a very nice effect on the finished sock. Um, and I try to put in the color change during or along this this uh, decrease line here and I think it works very very well so I'm happy with those uh, they look uh, finished and nice until I <laughs> until they are turned inside out because here is a um, an evening's uh, evening worth of uh, weaving in ends still to go. That is the downside of scrappy socks and stripes, I think. Um, although I try to weave in the ends as I knit it and I worked on the socks. Um, so it, it might be not as bad as it looks, but there are a few few ends. But that's fine. A an audiobook or a a nice TV show, and they will be done. So these are my easy peasy scrappy socks. Yeah, and I think there will be more of these this type of socks in my life. I loved the process and you know I lined up the yarn in the the um, in the in the flow that I wanted them to run yeah and then changed my mind a bit throughout and tried and you know rejected and um, yeah I like them my daughter likes them, so that is a double plus. A great way of using your scraps and leftovers from other um, sock projects or, you know, any leftovers of minis. So, yeah, pair of socks, the first pair of socks in 2024 are finished. 66 gram is used and assuming a 400 meter per 100 gram um, yardage, I used 264 meters for those. Uh, for my size, which is a European 39. Yeah, January has been good knitting wise. Some finished object I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased and I've enjoyed uh, those smaller projects and just getting them off the needles on and off on and off the needles currently what is on the needles is a project that you would have seen before or a similar project but just um, same same but different wrong side It is again a Bella dress. Now in the so so I'm just showing you the beautiful leaf pattern up here in the in the um, in the neckline or the round yoke section. This is again the coast yarn, and um, this color is called cocoa. It has a bit more a pink in it, but it's still a purple brown gray, but uh, some some more pink color or yeah in it. And um, here it is. The yarn. I have knitted one villa dress in this color that was the one that got lost in the mail which was then turned into this one which is the black current i we got the delightful news that there is a new little baby coming in 
in the in the extended family so this is for that new little baby girl coming one day and they will be um, cousins so they could do wear similar dresses the two of them they have a bit of a, um, age difference so they might be able to wear them at the same time <laughs> let's see and um, yeah this is what I will work on in uh, this weekend where I will just sit with my feet up in the couch knitting knitting watching some um, knitting videos thank you for the recommendations that you sent my way in the comments on the last video I have not watched every uh, recommendations that you put forward but I think this weekend um, is dedicated uh, possibly again to couch and knitting and TV so I will for sure watch some of the, uh, the videos that you have suggested and I'm looking very much forward to it because I have an injured foot and I can't walk very well at the moment. I had a very benign wound that got infected to the extent that um, my ankle on my right foot is like, you know, it's grown to elephant size. And I went to, well, I booked in a doctor's appointment yesterday for Saturday for tomorrow. But yesterday when I went to bed, I thought, I don't think I, uh, it doesn't feel right to feel like the in infection is just moving up my leg so um, I think I need to go first uh, before Saturday so I went to the emergency room yesterday and was seen by a very nice doctor who said you did the right thing um, in coming here early um, so as uh, so I did, so I'm on uh, antibiotics and uh, I will rest the foot and rest the body um, over the weekend and uh, what an excellent <laughs> excuse to just be sitting on the couch knitting throughout the weekend. Isn't it amazing? I will do that. Keep hydrated, keep entertained, um, yeah, hydrated too. Cheers. Yeah. It was very quick. That's just half an hour and we are through what's been on the needles and off and working on. I might share a um, something I want to cast on because it just sits here on the table. Let me grab it. It is a cardigan that I um, downloaded. It is a sentence pattern that was a free pattern, monthly free pattern. Well, February 21, I don't think I've had it for that long. But anyway, it is this uh, cardigan. So it has some lovely uh, flower motif and um, color work throughout. I am very tempted to knit this cardigan. either in super soft or in coast in a nice soft you know um, sandy gray beige main color and then a slightly brown on um, as the uh, contrast color we'll see but I, I would like to knit that one. And what I've also been working on since the last video is the draft uh, gumnut cardigan. 
Uh, I think it's almost ready for tech editing, so um, it's getting closer, friends. You keep me motivated, and uh, it will come out for testing very soon. That's it for the um, yarn knitting content. Uh, and uh, in the last few minutes, I might share a bit sort of um, what's happening otherwise, life-wise. If that's not interested, if that's not interesting to you, you're uh, welcome to jump off here. If you like what you see and want to support the, the channel, it will I will be hugely grateful for that. So give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribe. Share with your friends. Um, uh, I would love, you know, to extend this community. Um, Life-wise, uh, I. Uh, I, well, I'm, I'm well, I'm well, I'm well. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying uh, my little apartment. I am enjoying my own company. I spend a lot of time alone, but I do not feel lonely. Um, so that is good. I really enjoy just, uh, you know, the knitting and pottering around here. I've started um, bread making or at least I uh, I've done one sourdough and I will bake tomorrow so I'm, I'm also looking forward to that. Uh, I have I have had some instances where my I think my body has start, is starting to release the stress that I was under last year. So I think it's starting to release the tension and sometimes it feels like a day of flu or, you know, sort of flu-like symptoms. But I simply think it is the, um, that tension and maybe some toxins that are released. So the, the body is healing as well and I'm healing emotionally and mentally so um, it's good I am um, starting for sure not just starting but I my head is above water and that is just a lovely feeling um, and and uh, just want to thank you all for being here with me and um, 24 will be amazing I am absolutely sure Yes, I am um, in now when we are talking about sort of emotional, mental health, um, I think very deeply and I, um, yeah, I'm a deep thinker, I feel a lot of emotions and um, in one of the past videos I talked about um, working with the um, the little Jane, the inner child, and um, I still do. The uh, little little Jane is <laughs> she's better than she uh, she's been for a long time. Um, and during the last week, I watched Rocket Man, the film about um, um, Elton John, and. During the some of the last scenes, it just shows very much, uh, you know, a, a visual representation of this acknowledging and welcoming in and taking care of our younger selves. Um, so if you watch that movie when you see towards the end in in the rehab and um, the Elton John character and his younger self. Uh, in the center of sort of that circle and the younger self say which he did in his past in his actual young life said when will you give me a hug and uh, Elton Don did it in in the movie and it's just I think it's such a lovely 
visual representation of taking in our younger selves when when we as adults then are parent or yeah in that parent role of our inner self our younger inner younger versions of ourselves so that is how I see that reunion and uh, what the work that I'm sort of doing sort of in self um, development and it's a continuous journey but it's getting better and better um, yeah not easy work but very meaningful inner work enough on that uh, sort of deep note <laughs> It's not for everyone, I know, and I, I don't think I explain it very well. Um, you should have been there. <laughs> it's a, a daily saying we say. Anyway, um, I ramble, so I am well, and thank you for your continuing support and your comments. I love them all, read them all, and respond to as many as I can, as fast as I can. So thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. You um, had a bit of knitting done and um, then I will look forward to seeing you again soon, hopefully. Talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.